Hey YouTube, this is Beach Ray 20 Over here today, testing this sound stream. This is the Triple X 15000D. I had this amplifier for years, and this is my first time finally having the equipment to test it. So I'm curious to see what kind of power it puts out. I have the clamp on the positive leads here. I'm using the SPL Labs wireless bass meter, the third edition to do this test. Um, I have 120 amp hours of C-Max Lithium. And to charge the bank, I have two AutoTech Engineering 370 amp alternators. Right now, I'm resting at 15.9 volts. I'm gonna put the head unit at volume 42. That's where I have it tuned with the DD1, 1% distortion. Um, this is the port that I've been talking about in previous videos. The 10 inch port that I made out of sonotube, tube and I just put 3M tape for added strength. I took it out today just to see if, uh, right now it has an eight inch PVC pipe, kind of like the big ass ports um, inside the box. And this box right here is below the window line. It's uh, two Soundstream X515s, the team Soundstreams. Uh, they're dual ones, got them wired to one ohm on the Soundstream Triple X 15000D. Let's see what kind of power. I'm not sure my rise, but um, just all testing purposes. Like I said, I was able to get a 151, was the highest, no matter what application I used, 151 dB was the highest I was able to do with this port that I made. So I figured I'll check out the eight inch port to see if it's any gains. Now, everything's sealed doors and windows except for the driver's side the window down is down the same I did in all my previous videos the only difference from my videos before would be the fact that I have now two of the auto auto take uh, engineering 370 amp alternators are both hooked up and um, I switched out the 10 inch port for the 8 inch port just to see what kind of changes it might make now I'm going to be doing the 30 the 60 hertz sweep first then i'm going to check and see what kind of power this amplifier makes 30 to 60 hertz so right now my voltage dropped down to 15.8 so just like every other test from 15.8 and uh we'll see from there So the most we was able to get out of it was a 149.3 dB, 48 hertz being my peak, and I did 10,449.6 watts clamped. Now, just on that quick burp, it's safe to say that the 8-inch port um, did lose compared to this 10-inch port had some gains like i said i was able to get a 151 with this port that i made that's 10 inches compared to the eight inch port from pvc but i'm gonna go ahead and um test it at 30 hertz first this is all power clamped out of the soundstream triple x 15000d at one ohm to the two soundstream x515s by sound stream. <coughs> so I'm gonna reset the meter or the, and let's try 30 hertz, see what happens. All right, so at 30 hertz, we got a 146.3 dB with 8,188.4 watts clamped. Okay, so next, I'm gonna reset the meter again. I'm gonna try 35 hertz. See what kind of power we can get out of this amp at 35 hertz. All right, so 
passed away at 35 hertz. We had a 148.2 dB with 6,279.3 watts clamped. I believe it was a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset it and try 35 again and see what happens. So it was a little bit more 148.3 db at 35 hertz with 6967.3 watts clamped i'm going to go ahead and reset the meter and next we're going to try 40 hertz and see what happens what kind of power we can get and now voltages drop down to 15.6 40 hertz test all right i don't think the sub like that with this port either i'm getting a port noise or it's the sub but at 40 hertz you got 148.1 db with 7056.1 watt clamp so next we're going to try 45 hertz i'm going to reset the meter here Let's see what it does at 45. All right, so at 45 hertz, did a 148.9 dB with 9,148.6 watts clamped. So next, we're going to try 50 hertz. I'm going to start the meter here. All right, so at 50 hertz, did a 147.9 dB with 8,744.9 watts clamped. Not sure where my rise is. I'm pretty sure I can get some pretty good power out of this amp. Uh, not bad as of now, but I'm pretty sure it can do more. So all right now I'm gonna try 55 hertz. All right, so at 55 hertz, you got a 144.7 dB with 8,512.2 watts clamped. And to finish this testing off, I'm gonna do 60 hertz. So at 60 hertz, did a 141.4 dB with 8,301.7 watts clamped. Um, now, so like I said before, from me testing, I just put the 8-inch port in. This box um, I got from my friend. This is his old box. I just wanted to use it for testing purposes. As soon as I got the box, I figured the port area was a little too small. I'm still learning boxes. That's why I made this 10 inch port. I just grabbed the Sano tube from Home Depot. And Sano tube is kind of like cardboard. So to make it stronger, I used this tape here. The same that Jacob Viral uses. This is the uh, 3340 3M tape, foil tape. Just went ahead and used it all over the Sano tube, in and out, as well as the wood just to add some extra strength. And uh, so far, like I said, I was able to get a 151 dB with the same application from that port and testing it port from 10 inch to eight inch with this application, I did lose on the meter. But as far as power wise goes, out of this 15K, did not see rated power, but like I said, at one ohm, depending on the frequency, I'm pretty sure I rise. I do have to calculate what kind of rise I get at the different frequencies. But for the most part, 
um, if anything is close to two ohms, then the numbers that's clamped today will make sense because this amplifier does about 8,000 to 9,000 watts at two ohms and it makes the rest of its power at one ohm. So even though I'm at one ohm nominal with uh, rise, I could be at two ohms or even higher. So with that being said, I'm pretty sure the amplifier is accurately rated. But let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys like these kind of tests. I will have the FDZ Audio Def Series 3.5K afterwards. And we're going to see what kind of part we can get out of that. So stay tuned for more. As always, it's peace and love. Thanks for watching.